Friends and welcome to the video. I'm Olivia and if you've never seen my face before you can consider me your fragrance fairy godmother And I have a very special guest with me. This is my <laughs> husband Neto. Hello. Do you know what you're doing today? I'm guessing smelling perfume. Yes. Yes, <laughs> okay. that's exactly it So I'm going to have you smell very popular women's perfume. Okay. We want the the male perspective on it. Okay, sounds amazing to me. So, the group, what kind of fragrances <laughs> do you like and what do you wear? I really like like vanilla sweet perfumes and I wear Her by Burberry. This other YouTuber, what's her name? Um, YouTuber? Charlie D'Amelio. Yeah, yeah, Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> smells like bubblegum, right? Smells like bubblegum, vanilla, it's super sweet, I love it. Do you like the more traditionally feminine fragrances? Yeah, right? yeah, for sure, yes. As a man, do you feel pressure or do you feel guided by the fragrance industry to wear a certain type of perfume? Yeah, I used to think that because of all the advertising that we see on TV mm -hmm. and I come from Mexico, you know how Mexico is. You have to be tough and you have to be hard with the smells and the perfumes. I'm like, I just don't, cannot relate to this meeting you. I was like, oh yeah, I can wear any perfume. Did you feel and more yourself when you Yeah, 100%. Started? I felt like, oh yeah, okay, I can do this and I smell good. And I find it interesting too that it's all about perception. His aunt literally said to me that she had complimented his fragrance, which is Burberry Her. Yeah. And when you told her that you were wearing a women's fragrance, she got such a kick out of it because she didn't expect it because you're a guy. So sometimes, even when I wear really masculine fragrances, guys will just assume it smells feminine because it's on me. Uh, yeah, hundred percent. How does a scent have a, you know, like a gender? No. We don't come out of the womb smelling like a strawberry <laughs> or like a piece of plywood, right? All right, so you ready to smell some perfume? I am hundred percent ready. Let's do it. Okay, so the first one that we're gonna start with is another 13. Do you know who this is by? Le Labo. Yes. Have a smell and tell us what you think. Smells very good, smells fancy, smells expensive. Like someone that's interested in art. Does it feel fresh or does it feel sweet? It feels very fresh. Fresh, not so sweet, like, you know, like coming out of the shower. Would you wear it? Yes, definitely. Okay, now give us a rating from one to 10. Like vanilla for me is number 10. I would not buy it for myself, mm -hmm. but if you're wearing it, I would love it. So I give it a nine. That's pretty good. Yeah. We're gonna stick with the Le Labo fragrances. This one is Te Noir. Okay, this one is very different from the first one. I don't like it that much. Okay. It's not that fresh. I don't think I would wear it. What does it like smell it. like to you? Green. Yeah, this is a really green fragrance. Do you smell yeah. fig? I don't know what fig is. It's not technically a fruit. It's an inverted flower. I don't know the word in Spanish. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I like Le Labo because I've been to Le Labo with you. Yeah. And I like how they make the perfume there. I have a lot of respect for them because they make it like in-house. One out of 10, what would you rate it? I'll rate it a seven. If I wouldn't see them making it that same day, I would give it a four. But I have a lot of respect for that type of branding that they do. So like the artistry bolsters yes, the... Yeah, of okay. course. Can I tell you something? Yeah. This is my favorite perfume of all time. <laughs> oh yeah, now I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next on the list is a classic standby. This is Chanel number no. five. I'm sure that this will strike some nostalgic memories, but you tell us what you think of it. It doesn't smell vintage. It doesn't smell dated? Not at all. It reminds me of like my grandmother's makeup. Powdery. Powdery. Yes. yes. Yeah, it's powdery. You know those makeup uh, puffs? Yeah, I always liked packaging, mm -hmm. so I would open them and smell them and I liked it. He does graphic design, so yeah. if anything has a good branding or good marketing, good packaging, he's always really into it. What do you think about their, their packaging? I love it, it's classic. I saw it in a movie recently, right, Priscilla? Yes, Priscilla! Yeah. Give us a rating, one to ten. About thinking that it's, you know, a classic perfume, I'm gonna give it a seven. I feel like you're rating these pretty high. Is it really? Well, a four hurt a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Could you see a woman of my age wearing this or a person of my age wearing this yeah 100 percent. I, I don't think that also like scent has an age it reminds us of certain people but that doesn't mean that it's, it's for exclusive yeah them. yeah i like that next this is a super popular affordable arab perfume okay. this is called yara by latafa i gotta say that i am biased from the packaging what about the packaging do you it's like great i love it looks like they put a lot of thought into it I feel like the Arab perfumes really take time to make the bottles look very individualistic. Yeah, no, it's great. And it's heavy, right? Yeah. This is only like $30. No way. Yeah. I'm already giving it a 10. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's give a sniff first. No, yeah. The Arab perfumes, they need a second to dry before they get going. 10. 
10. Yeah, yeah, no, I like it. And I'm not just biased from the packaging. Like they have a great packaging, but it's sweet and I like sweet. Do you get fruity notes from this? Yes. You do? Yeah. Okay, because a lot of people say that this smells like strawberries and cream. It does, it does. Yeah, you get that. Okay, because I you get don't? vanilla. I get like an almost like a, like a vanilla hair conditioner. That's, I would wear it. This yeah. is our first 10 out of 10. You can wear this. I will please, wear it. Please help me. No, no, no. I have so many now. No, I can't. <laughs> this is one of the best selling female perfumes of all time. Sounds this good. This is La Via Belle by Lancome. Oh, this is good. I like it better than the other one. If I could give like an 11 out of 10, I would give 11. So what do you get out of this one? I'm very bad with notes. Fresh, happy, very happy. Like this made me instantly happy. You know the translation for the name? La Via Belle. Yeah, life is beautiful, right? Yeah. yeah. Like if I would feel sad in a day and I would smell this, I'm like, oh, life is not that hard. Do you know that a lot of people criticize this because it has a lot of sweetness and a lot of patchouli, so people feel like it's nauseating? I don't think it's na nauseating at all. So you would like if I wear this? I would love if you wore that. Okay. But for a picnic or something, happy this next one is delina exclusive how much if you had to guess would this cost can i touch it yeah it's a nice bottle but now that you showed me a nice bottle for 30 dollars i i don't know like 100 bucks this is like 300 dollars oh. no. lend us your thoughts i don't think if it smells like 300 dollars it smells very good okay very good but there is some of the other ones that you showed me mm. that also smell good and i don't think they they are 300 dollars yep. i can smell a little powder yeah it's right? powdery yeah. yeah but it's super good i i rate it a 10. this one's a 10 yeah. too yeah 100 percent. yeah this one seems to do really well with men it's powdery but it's sweet it's powdery it's sweet it's soft yes. it's gentle yes it's not overbearing approachable yeah friendly F ver yeah that's the word i was looking for Friendly. friendly. I like that. Okay, this next one is by the brand Kayali. You know Kayali very well. Love Kayali. Love Kayali. But this is the vanilla and this is one of the most popular vanillas that ever existed. Oh my god, I love vanilla. This is the vanilla connoisseur here, guys. So <laughs> we're going to have to see if Kayali is in fact approved. Oh my god, this is pure vanilla. I think the ones I wear have vanilla and like strawberry or something different. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I want to eat it. Like a warm hug after a long day of work and you instantly fall asleep after smelling it. Like, oh, like oh, you're... So this is a cuddle. It's yes, a yeah, cuddle. Yeah, 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 that, that, yeah, yeah. 10 out of 10. I would wear it super cozy. Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. It has brown sugar too. I can smell that. Mm -hmm. Do you it. think that this is also a little bit sexy? Uh, I mean, I, not really. Okay. It's just like a hug, like more gentle. Sensual, Sensual. not sexy. Exactly. Next is Shirosid 62. This is actually a body mist. So it's not going to be quite as long lasting as the perfumes, but this one's really popular. It smells a little bit like medicine. Like medicine? I'm super bad with No, this. no, no. It's your perception. It's There's no right or wrong. I mean, yeah. I've had a medicine that had this flavor. Oh, okay. So for me, it reminds me of that. Syrupy, maybe? Syrupy. What do you rate that one? <laughs> a four. I'm not saying it's bad. You have a scent memory towards yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. And I cannot block that memory. This fragrance is supposedly the fragrance that Rihanna wore. Oh. Ooh. Do you think Rihanna's hot? Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is Love Don't Be Shy. Ah, I love it. It's super sweet, too. Oh, you like the real sweet ones. Uh, yeah, it's super sweet. I like it. Yeah, I like it very much. What would you rate this one? Ten. Anything sweet and vanilla is a ten for me. You know I've talked trash on this one quite a bit. What you don't like about it? I do like it, but it is just super sweet that I feel like I'm being choked out a little bit. Well, I mean, I'm just smelling it for a second, but if I would wear it all day, maybe I would be... Overstimulated. Overstimulated. <laughs> I would get hungry because it's very sweet. Uh, yeah. You know those Valentine's Day heart candies? Of course Doesn't do. it kind of smell like that? It does. And it like does. marshmallows? Yes, it does. Yeah, let me smell. You should wear this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might. Because you're my little marshmallow. <laughs> okay, so this next one is called Gris Charnel by BDK. I wouldn't wear it. Okay. But it smells very good. Okay. It's not the, you know, the sweet vanilla strawberry ones that I love, but I can have appreciate. What kind of mood does this put you in? Like I want to go to a museum, go see art, and maybe a band that plays jazz. So this has got like a cool aesthetic to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, like I wouldn't go on to a picnic. What rating do you give? I mean, just because I love the vanilla ones, but I can appreciate it's a very good perfume, I'll give it a 9. That's a pretty high rating. Yeah, super good. 
Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna start to get into the more heavy hitting perfumes. That sounds good to me. Okay, so this first one is called 100 Silent Ways by Nishane. You said it was the more strong perfumes? Yeah. This is not that strong. You don't feel like this one's strong? I don't strong? feel it's strong. It, it, it's very good. It does smell very fancy. Is it expensive? Yes. It does smell very expensive. When would you wear something like this? To a gala, like a red carpet. So this is like special occasion. S super special occasion. And I think people will remember you if you're wearing this. So like a signature scent. Yeah. You know, I just made a video of this on my Instagram saying that everyone needs a party fragrance. Mm -hmm. This to me is the perfect special occasion fragrance. Oh, you said that? Yeah, I oh. did. Red carpet. Perfume. Would you wear this one? I would not wear it, but if I smell it on someone, I'll be like, oh. Okay, so what's your rating? 10. 10. Pure 10. I wouldn't wear it for myself. If I smell it on someone, I'm like, whoa. And I will remember that person like forever. Okay, so the internet went crazy for this one. This is called Intense Cafe by Montal. They went crazy in a good way? Yes. Oh. Mm, it's not my jam. Is that how you say it? Is yeah. that good? Okay. Yeah. Does it have grape? Grape. Or no, just a bottle because it's purple. It reminds me of that. No, it has rose, but it's like such a sweet rose that it comes off like a jam. So it's funny you said that. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't wear it and I don't think I would like it like for my partner to wear it. And it feels like it's a little bit strong. Yeah, like after a, uh, a while, I'll be like, uh, let's open the window. So your rating? I would have to say a six. I'm not saying it's a bad perfume. Give it a six. This is also one of my favorites. No! <laughs> we, couldn't, <laughs> we couldn't have more different tastes, I think. Yeah, but that, it, I mean, it's normal. It's fine. <laughs> my heart. <laughs> Next is another popular Arab perfume. This is called Shagaf Oud. It's super strong. This is an uh, unapproachable person. If I smell this on someone, I'm like, okay, they want their space. Like, so this is like to get people to stay away from you. Yes. If that's what you want to be unapproachable, then yes, this is the one. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> but it's good. I rate it at a, a eight. That's still pretty high. Yeah. Well, would you wear this ever? Definitely not. <laughs> okay. So this is a niche perfume that has kind of taken the market by storm as of lately. And a lot of people have mixed thoughts on it. So this is Amouage Guidance. It smells like uh, green, like plants. Like plants? No. What does it have? It has pear, it has sandalwood, but a lot of people say that this one smells like vagina. I do not think it smells like vagina. When I've worn it on my skin, I think you thought differently. <laughs> <laughs> on paper, it's not maybe it, Maybe on paper, huh? but maybe on skin. I remember smelling your skin and being like, like, yeah, like my <laughs> eyes glowing a little bit. <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> so yeah. let me spray this on the skin. We'll let Sounds it dry great. and we'll come back to it, see how you feel differently. Sounds great. Perfect. And lastly, we have Oud for Greatness by Initio. And I'm not going to say anything. We'll just see how you feel about but this. But let me see the packaging. Oh my God, this is so good. It's nearly $400. It does look 400. It looks even more expensive. Yeah. It looks like something you find inside a pyramid in Egypt. Like, yeah, like it's a work of art. Yeah. It's like a combination approachable perfume mm -hmm. and an unapproachable perfume. It does smell very expensive. My thought of an expensive perfume, it's unapproachable, but it's, it's like a nice type of fancy. It's not like, like super high end, you know, those people from New York going to very expensive restaurants and stuff like that. Can you feel his detest for rich people? <laughs> My what? No. <laughs> it's because I've never been rich. So I think of rich people like that. They were like that other perfume that you showed me. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. When would you use this? In a cool art show, but not the expensive ones where they ask you to wear nice clothes. So this is not like black tie event. No, no, not black tie, but like cool and hip. I love the bottle. The bottle is amazing. What do you rate it? I rate it a 10 because this is a, like a very special occasion. Yes. And I'm rating it a 10. I would not wear it. It's very sophisticated. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. It's very good. So we finally agree we finally on agree. one of the favorites. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now the question is, can you smell the vagina now? It smells very different on skin and I think it's time to end this video and take it to the bedroom. <laughs> All right, that's enough out of you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank you for being in my video. Today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Did you enjoy it? I did enjoy it and I'm sorry if some of my words were not good. English is not my first language, but it was very fun to be on your video. Until next Saturday, 10 a.m. PST. Take, take care, care of, of yourselves, yourselves my, my friends. friends.